I am very honored to be speaking with uh, Professor Yisrael Oman, the uh, Nobel Pl Prize Laureate for Economics in 2005, I believe, and um, at, uh, at Hebrew University. Uh, thank you very much for letting me speak to you. My pleasure, my pleasure. The, um, I, I just want to, again, I'm certainly not an expert or even a novice at, at game theory, um, so my, uh, I just uh, was looking up a couple of things, but I do have a couple of questions that I was, I was curious about. Um, if I may quote Wikipedia, it said that uh, game theory is, uh, I assume it's rel relatively accurate, um, mathematical models of conflict and cooperation between intelligent, rational decision makers. I've seen that you've used, you've talked about game theory and you've tried to apply it to the Israel's politics, specifically uh, the Gaza withdrawal and other things. Um, why do you assume that the other side is rational? Most people are rational. Uh, the word rational um, is uh, used differently here in the Center for the Study of Rationality at the Hebrew University uh, than it is in everyday discourse. Uh, in fact, we use the definition of rationality, the same definition that is uh, prevalent in economics. Uh, a rational person is one who pursues his goals uh, to the best of his uh, information and uh, given the information he has he pursues his goals that's all uh, you ask about rationality I think just about everybody unless he is uh, uh, mentally um, disturbed or ill uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, pursues his goals given his information that I mean that is the meaning of the word goal yeah okay. so we we had better take into account uh, that people are pursuing their goals the point of game theory is uh, that uh, it's not it's not pursuing our goals okay so when uh, people used to say that uh, Ahmadinejad is uh, not rational, okay? Right. But he is rational. That's not true. He's not. He doesn't pursue our goals, but he pursues his goals, okay? Right. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's what game theory is all about. It's about in the interaction of uh, um, uh, the interaction of different entities who are pursuing their their goals and. Not and the goals do not. Our goals, the goals okay? of the actors don't have to be consistent with each well, other. Of course, the goals are usually very often, uh, very often they are not not only in, not only different but really inconsistent, as you say. Yes, that that happens too often. So you could have goals that are consistent, but still different. For example, when you are uh, selling a a house, then you your goal is to sell the house and get as much money for it as you can. And the buyer's goal is to buy the house and to pay as little money uh, for it as he can, okay? Right. So those goals are different, they're not the same. But they're not inconsistent because uh, in the end some price will be paid and uh, you know unless the negotiation fails but the goals are consistent in the end that they were striving to uh, make a deal okay right. and that deal will perhaps not be the 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 what each side had hoped for but they're not inconsistent but sometimes the goals are inconsistent okay that that happens and uh, it spells trouble. <laughs> yeah. um, but but I, that's the, the the trouble of that is a lot uh, is nothing compared to like the the goal of the, the different goals of a suicide bomber, and uh, and people just want to live their lives successfully. Um, suicide bombers are are pursuing their goals, and we better take that into account. In yep. other words, uh, at the beginning of this conversation. Uh, you intimated that uh, we are dealing with irrational entities and as an example of that irrationality 
we might uh, we might mention um, suicide bombers because uh, uh, obviously the goal of each person uh, among his goals is to stay alive and a suicide bomber is going to kill himself so uh, so it would appear that he's irrational but that's a big mistake he's not irrational he is rational he is pursuing he or she by quite a few of the suicide bombers are women um, he or she is uh, is uh, rational because he has a goal beyond his own life, and many of us do. Yes, Chana with Shivat Panea had a goal which was be uh, beyond saving herself or her children. Yes. Yes. Uh, and we better realize that. In other words, we better say not say that those people are crazy. Um, uh, they are pursuing goals which are in a way noble okay they are willing to sacrifice themselves lots of people are, are willing to sacrifice themselves too many people are willing to sacrifice I mean, yeah, too many people I would say but but certainly in our history we've been willing to sacrifice ourselves again and again yes rather than uh, um, give up what we think is more important in our lives so those people also those shihadim, uh, who, who, who uh, uh, suicide bombers, are absolutely rational. I would say rationally in Hebrew, rationally la Allah. Yes, yeah. that's what we would say. They are absolutely rational, and the the trouble with the uh, the superficial um, um, analysis of the situation we have over here is that we we say hey they're irrational and then what can we do about it the trouble is exactly in the question you asked okay mm -hmm. uh, that uh, that we think we, we when you attribute irrationality to other people then you have to throw up your hands you, you don't know what to do okay right. but no they're not irrational they're rational they just have different goals from what we do and those goals are very sincere and very uh, strongly held and uh, um, and we better take that into account okay when we uh, when we um, uh, devise our strategy okay. and game theory can accommodate such such differing mindsets absolutely game theory can accommodate everything yes i mean all not everything <laughs> people often ask me uh, you know what does game theory say about this what does game <laughs> theory say about that so game theory has nothing to say about this or that right. but in uh, situations of strategic interaction you can all no matter what the goals are you can always even when the goals are entirely opposite like in the game of chess okay yeah. All right. Sure. Games, uh, games are entirely opposite. You still game theory has a lot to say about chess. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> okay. okay. So yeah. it, it always applies. It applies in all areas of strategic interaction. 